What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the centroid of a triangle, right? And quickly, just to remind you what the centroid of a triangle is, I'm just gonna draw a random little triangle right here. And the first thing you wanna do when you're finding the centroid is you just wanna pick one of your sides and you wanna find the midpoint of that side in the middle. So for example, if we found the middle part of this bottom one, I'm just gonna say it's approximately there. And then all you do is draw a straight line from the opposite vertex or the opposite angle. You just draw a straight point from there to the midpoint right there, okay? And then the last thing you have to do is just move two thirds of the way down this line, okay? So you start at the vertex at the angle and then you move down two thirds of the way to the midpoint, okay? So we'll say that two thirds of the way is maybe about here-ish, right? So for example, if this whole length right here was 12, that means this longer side would be eight and this shorter side would be four, okay? And the other way you could kind of find the centroid of a triangle is, again, you start at one vertex, at one angle, draw a straight line to the middle of the other side, right? And then you could do that with the other angles of vertexes. So you could start at this vertex and just draw a straight line to the middle of this uh, segment right here. So we'll just say it's about there, right? So we could just draw a straight line to there. And same thing with this one, we could start here and then draw a straight line to the middle of this last one. And then you can just draw a straight line. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good, all right? And then where all these three lines intersect, again, is the centroid. Okay, so that's basically what we're gonna try and do with this triangle right here. So let's find the centroid of this triangle. So the first thing we wanna do is just find the middle of one of our sides right here. And in this case, let's just find the middle of this bottom segment right here from R to T. Okay, and the way that we're gonna do that is just by using the midpoint formula. So the midpoint is gonna be equal to X of one plus X of two divided by two, and then our Y coordinate is Y of one plus Y of two divided by two, right? So then the midpoint here, uh, let's see, let's say R is X of one and Y of one, and T is X of two, Y of two. Okay, so then the midpoint is gonna be equal to, let's see, two plus eight divided by two, and Y is gonna be one plus three divided by two. So then here we're gonna get, let's see, two plus eight is 10, 10 divided by two is five, and one plus three is four, four divided by two is two. Okay, so the midpoint between these two points is at five comma two, right? So at five, two right here, right? This is the midpoint of this side. So then the next thing we have to do is just draw a straight line from the opposite vertex down to the midpoint, right? So we're gonna draw a straight line. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good right there. Okay, then the next thing we have to do is just move two thirds of the way down this line to find the centroid, right? But to find the exact point, we're gonna have to use the distance formula, right? Because first we need to find the distance from this point from S to this point down here M, right? We gotta find that distance. Okay, and the distance formula is the square root of x of two minus x of one squared plus y of two minus y of one squared. Okay, so let's label the x of two, x of one, y of two, y of one. So again, we're finding the distance from s to m, so we can say that s in this case, uh, let's say s is x of one and y of one, and then we can say that our midpoint right here, which again was five comma two, we'll say that this is x of two, y of two. So then here the distance is gonna be equal to the square root of five minus five squared plus y of two, let's see, that's two minus eight squared. So the distance is equal to the square root of five minus five, that's just zero, right? So zero squared just goes to zero. And then here we're left with two minus eight squared. So two minus eight is equal to negative six. So we get negative six squared. And uh, let's clean that up a little bit. So then this is equal to, well, negative six squared, that's equal to 36, right? So then we end up with the square root of 36, which is equal to just six. Okay, so the distance from S 
to m is 6. And remember, we just want to move two-thirds of the weight down, right? So basically, we want to find what's two-thirds of 6, right? So uh, two-thirds of 6, or times 6, is equal to 4, okay? So the centroid is 4 units down from s. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is this point right here? Well, you can see that the x-coordinate for s and m are the same, right? They're both, they both lie along x is equal to 5 right here, right? So we know the centroid also lies along this same line where x is equal to 5. So how do you find the y-coordinate? Well, in this case, it's pretty easy, right? We could just count four spaces. Or you could look at your y-coordinate here, right? Because this is our starting point, this vertex. And we're going to move four units down. So our starting point is 8. We want to move four units down. So 8 minus 4 is equal to 4, all right? Uh, so we know this is a 4 right here. And to confirm that, we could obviously just look at the graph. So we can move over 5 and up 4, right? So we still get the exact same point. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.